The Northwest Territories has a number of place names for, drawn from Aboriginal languages, and many of them use additional diacritics, uh, like Klingchung government or the barred L in Tlidlikwe town, uh, accent markers, nasal hooks. And it's always a, a problem. How do we type these? There are special keyboards available to um, allow you to type them. But today I want to show you a way that you can make sure that you've spelled them correctly and it's quite easy. The problem is that not everyone can install the keyboards. It's uh, a matter of uh, having admin privileges on a computer and requires a certain amount of uh, technical ability as well. The other problem is that not everybody wants to bother because it is difficult to install. You might say, well, I only need to type Pechokon, so can I just type it with a plain letter O on the end? I would suggest that it's a matter of showing respect for the Aboriginal languages and honoring the pride that uh, the Aboriginal people have in their own languages. Um, it makes it important to try and spell them, spell the official place names correctly. There have been a number of creative solutions on how to do this without, uh, without the keyboards. Some people keep a document of common place names and, and uh, Aboriginal language terms that they use and simply copy from that and paste into emails or other documents that they're doing. A better solution is to use the autocorrect feature of Microsoft Word and that's what I'm going to show you today. It's quite easy to create an autocorrect entry. So we have a document here with a number of uh, Aboriginal language place names on. I'm going to begin with the name Bechokon. All we have to do is highlight it, go to the File tab, and select Options. From the Word Options window, um, we select Proofing, and then select Autocorrect Options. In the Autocorrect Options, you see the name Bechokon has already been entered here and we're going to type it over here in the way that we would normally type it in entering. I suggest doing it in all lowercase letters so I'm going to type B E H C H O K O and I'm going to click on add to add that entry. Now I may not always remember to type that first H in there so I'm going to take it out and add another entry that lets me type just B-E-C-H-O-K-O -O, in case I forget that and add that as well. Once you've added the entry it's important to click the OK button here not just close it and again you need to click the OK button on the Word Options window. That takes you back to the document. Now we'll try it here. I'll type B E H. C-H-O-K-O -O, as I did before and as soon as I hit the space bar it autocorrects to the entry that we've made. Let's try another one. I'll take the word Klingchong, highlight it, go to the file menu, select options, select proofing and then autocorrect options. Again I have the word Klingchong over here I'm going to replace it. I'm going to type just plain T L I C H O. And by using a lowercase letter here, it will correct to this whether I put it in upper or lowercase. So I entered uh, the way I'm going to type it without any special keyboard. Add that to my autocorrect entries. Click OK. And uh, click OK again on this one and back here and we'll try it. T L I C H O space or enter or period whatever tells Microsoft uh, Word that you're finished typing that word and it uh, autocorrects. If there's a case where you don't want it if you hover your pointer near that little blue underline you see the little blue underline under the T hover your pointer there click on it change back to Klingchon, it, it will do that. Go back to the way you originally typed it. There's maybe a few instances where you don't want that. Um, but just to show you, I can also type it with a capital T, L-I-C-H-O, 
and it will also autocorrect because I entered it in lowercase. Had I entered an uppercase, well, let's, let's just look at it in uh, gamma t. I'll do one more example. Again, clicking on the File tab, Options. Under Options, I select Proofing, Autocorrect Options, and you see gamma t is already in there because I had it highlighted on my document. If I replace it with a capital G, A, M, E, T, I, now it will only autocorrect if I use a capital G when I type it. That may not be a problem, but I'll just demonstrate how it works for you. So we add that entry, click OK, click OK again, and I come in here, and as long as I type capital G, A, M, E, T, I, space, it autocorrects, puts the low tone markers on the me and t. However, if I type G, A, M, E, T, I without capitalizing it, it doesn't autocorrect. So I'm going to go back and change that entry. Go back to File, Options, Proofing, Autocorrect Options, and I already have gamma t in there. I'm going to replace it with a lowercase g. See, I've got it here. I'm going to delete that entry with a capital G. Delete that one. And I'm going to add an entry with a lowercase g. Add that one. Now I've got, if I type gamma t with a lowercase or an uppercase g, it will autocorrect to this version of gamma t. So click OK and OK out of that box. Okay, let's try it now. G A M E T I space corrects capital G A M E T I and it corrects that as well. Okay, let's suppose you want a word and you don't actually have a uh, document with it spelled correctly. There are other sources that you can use to make autocorrect entries. So suppose we want the word Lutzoke. I've uh, looked up a, uh, a government document here with the word Lutzoke spelled correctly. This time I'll highlight it. Now I need to copy it. Go back to my Microsoft Word document. Click on the File menu, Options, Proofing, Autocorrect Options. I'm going to paste the correct spelling out here and I'm going to type L-U-T-S-E-L-K-E -E in there and uh, now you see it's giving me away I already have that entry in here so I'll just tell it to replace that and uh, it's in there but suppose someone said suppose I want to use the I might type the older name snowdrift s n o w d r i f t instead of Lutz okay I can also add that variant to it and then I'll click OK to get out of both of these boxes now I can type l u oops, u t s e l k e space it autocorrects I can also type snowdrift space and it autocorrects to Lutz okay. So you can add variants. There are many ways of spelling it. You can use uh, Word documents with the names in. You can look up uh, other place names on the internet and uh, put them in. Just a word of caution, you may find a few old documents using the old WinMac font or older fonts. They won't work very well to uh, place them into autocorrect. But any of the documents with the newer fonts, you'll be fine uh, using them. And so that's, that's how you do it. Remember, select the, the word that you want, um, that you want to use or copy it. Go to autocorrect options, proofing, autocorrect options, and uh, in this case, the word's on the wrong side. We'll just right-click, cut it out of there, paste it on the other side where it belongs, and then type D-E-L-I-N-E -E in there. And I already got that. Let's use the older name, F-O-R-T, 
F R A N K L I N and add that one and now if I OK out of there I could type Fort Franklin and it autocorrects to Delaney. So that's how you do it.